What's up dudes, Kublai Khan here, and welcome to Far Harbor Build Talk. We're going to talk about what builds we could potentially doing and what themes we should have with our Far Harbor character. Most importantly, as the title said, we actually have some leaked photos. I have zero way to really guarantee if these are actually the photos that are leaked. Some of these look like they come straight from the trailer, other ones in fact look real. Can't really guarantee, I have no way to confirm, hey, but whatever now. So, as we continue into this, remember, we're going to be talking about builds, so bing, I'll put builds right there as we go through so they have a little Far Harbor twist on them, and then we'll play them. Remember to make your vote, and I look forward to seeing what you guys think. Now, let's begin. This is the immediate one from the trailer, but as you can quickly see, we can move into deeper that now we can actually look at the helmet and see a little bit more of its statistics. Kind of a cool thing, and immediately as I'm looking at this, I want to create a Recon Marine character. How cool would it be to try to collect all this armor and build our dude up? I don't know who the character would be necessarily or how their story would go, but as a character who focuses on the biggest, baddest armor, it could be pretty fun. That badass helmet that he has, like the crab the lobster catcher pot thing, super cool, immediately makes me think of Dark Souls, and I'm very excited to try it out. Most importantly is that Winchester lever action gun right there. Perhaps it's old reliable. Yeah, it's a new gun, a legendary variant. That's pretty sick. That extra projectile, that increased spread. Is this a shotgun? I'm not sure, but it's super cool to me. What stands out most to me, though, is that 45 to 70 ammo size. I, uh, I don't really know what that is. I know what a 45 round is, but I don't know what a 45 70 is. I haven't found that in Fallout 4. So perhaps it's, the, it's new. Perhaps it's something that's been there for a while. Don't know. They also have smaller sizes of these, so we can also create like a cowboy build, which is pretty exciting. I would love to have that hat, though, as a cowboy build. So it's a cowboy lobster build. Pretty cool. This immediately makes me think of the Child of Adam ghoul build. I mean, check this out. It has unlimited magazine size, and it's a radiation gun. Immediately goes in that direction, or even potentially somebody like our chemist build. With the automatic rifle shooting, Jesse could be an interesting character to bring over to Far Harbor to experiment with. If we wanted to go in the melee direction, this we had seen in the actual trailer. Now, we can get a little closer look at it. It's a slow weapon. It apparently has crazy high damage. I don't know what level that these were taken with, but that's a pretty cool weapon that kind of reminds me of the walking cane, except, you know, scary. Here is the legendary variant of it, upgraded with puncturing and negative 40 vats cost, which is kick ass. So, I don't know where we get this, but a kind of a fisherman catcher character could be pretty damn fun to do, focusing on melee. Now, if we went in a completely different direction, and somebody we've never done, which is heavy weapons. The harpoon gun was seen in Fallout 4, like, files in some of the coding prior to actually the release of Far Harbor. So it's nice to see that it's actually here, and now we can probably pin some things to walls, so that's sick. Also, a video we just had come out recently, I was trying to bowl a couple bottles down in the Beantown Brewery, could not do it. Now we got a way to make sure that we knock down every bottle and knock through the wall on the other side and probably every single leg afterwards. Could be pretty fun to do another big guns build. Immediately when I saw this, I was excited because it's nice to see that Fallout 4 is looking to help the unarmed build players. We have the least amount of love if you're just going fisty cuffs only, so it's nice to see that there's something else there. This one makes me think of those like scary, almost even Captain Hook kind of thing, but those like night on makeout hill where the people are in the car you have the hook come by the window immediately makes me think of that this makes me think of the death claw gauntlet now we saw in the trailer some more things about the bear traps that's pretty cool i'm excited about that a trap focused build could be pretty fun especially because mines blow up when you use them they're plentiful but they still blow up now we get to keep our traps after we do them it's very heavy at weight eight but it has a 93 range which i think is really odd I don't know what range means for a trap. Uh, maybe it jumps up and like flies after the opponent. But what I really think is kind of interesting is I wonder if it, when it claps down, if it's actually going to cripple or capture the person that it grabs onto. And you can see that we actually build these traps in the chemistry lab. I saw this in the trailer itself too. But what really stood out to me in this particular image was the cal traps. A cal trap. Oh, excuse me. It's a cal trap. A cal trap. Oh, over there. They're the little metal things that you step on ninjas would use them and they would typically be poisoned and as you can see there's poison caltrips there so anyway dudes that is what is here so far for the game so let's cover the builds that we could potentially be doing some assault marine in that badass armor which would be really fun we could do somebody who's focusing on the lever action and wearing that weird lobster pot helmet we can do somebody who is a meat hook slashing person actually that's the pull one 
or meat hook slashing one. Either ones would be pretty cool. We had the radiation gun. That's an automatic assault thing. That one's pretty sick too. So I've included all these builds right there. Go ahead and check them out. Give me your vote. Talk to me on subreddit to say, hey, this is what we want to do in debate. I think that sounds fantastic. And thank you everyone for coming by. It was a total joy to have you here. Remember to check out this guy's Twitter to see if he has any more Fallout 4 news that are coming out. Because maybe this is actual real stuff. So thanks again. You're so awesome. Leave a like if you liked what you saw. Hit the subscribe button below me if you want to see more. And of course, may the ground rise to meet your feet. The wind always be at your back. And may the sun shine warmly on your sexy, sexy face. Dudes, see you later. Bye.